Okay, chat. Here's the deal. I got sent a very mysterious package. I don't know what's inside it. It's, it's a box from, from someone called Starset. It says, Attention Rebels. Like, huh? Little did he know, Bogdan was about to become a rebel, as this was in fact, the Rebel Initiation Kit. You know me, I'm a, I'm a, I consider myself a smart person. And so I don't just open stuff without background checking who it's from. So I decided that I'm gonna research. And I decided that I'm gonna do it the proper way and go on Reddit. And I've gathered some facts. What I have in front of me is a research that I have on Starset. It's not very long, but it's gonna give us some background on who Starset is, what they represent, and what their lore is about. So, Star set. Here's a little table of contents where we're gonna go over. We have four main sections today. First one, we're gonna learn who Star Set Society are. What is the transmission? What is the signal? Then we're gonna go over what is the future? Dystopia. What it what is what is BMI? What is this mysterious thing called BMI? And then we're gonna learn about rebels who fight against this dystopia. We're gonna find out what they what they are on, you know? And then finally. We're gonna look at some inspirations that Starset took to build the story for us. Number one, <laughs> Starset Society. So, what do we know about Starset Society? This is a unit that is promoting scientific and skeptical thinking. They focus on effects of technology, pseudoscience, and how important science is. What does that mean? I don't know. What is the future world, according to Starset? It's a dystopia created by a totalitarian regime of a tech company called the New West Industries. They have this device called BMI, which means Brain Machine Interface, which is a brain implant that basically controls your mind. Very, very scary, very scary stuff. It's quite a it's quite a big deal, you know, government being able to control us through a, through a piece of technology in our head. Seems kind of topical, Elon Musk. Number three, chapter number three, rebels. Who are the rebels? Who are these people fighting against the dystopia? These are the rebels. They protest the New West. The society is basically divided into these rebels, the obedience, the mindless people who just follow what the government tells them to, and then the New West, the actual government, the dystopia that they're living in. And so finally, the inspiration. Where does this all stem from? Here's what I found on the internet. Stop spamming B-movie in my chat, please. <laughs> so basically, uh, Starset lore. I never really checked out their lore that much before. And once I did, I realized a lot of similarities with books that I read in high school and outside of high school. Mainly uh, the George Orwell's 1984. For the most part, it more reminds me of Brave New World by Huxley. Huxley, that's the, that's the name of the author. Because basically, the world, the dystopia that they exist in, is like a drug dystopia. Where people are dependent on what the dystopian government gives them. So that's that's kind of the backstory that we need to know. I am scared. I don't know what's inside, okay? But I'm excited. <laughs> Lots of paper. Okay, this is our first this is our first first thing. Okay. I'm going to need a knife for this. Oh. We've got a star set beanie. I'm a huge fan of beanies, so this is this is actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's vacuum sealed. So, I'm gonna have to open it later. Oh, cool. Damn boy. Look at me. I'm cool now. They got a nice logo. Just a star. Cool. Alright, what's next? Oh, wow. Okay. I think that's it. That's all we've got. Let's check out the vacuum sealed stuff. Nice. We opened the vacuum. Okay, so this is this is interesting. This is what we call a BMI remover. So remember that thing I told you about? The the device that gets implanted into your brain? This is to remove it. To set free from the dystopian government. Oh my god, okay, look at this. Whoa. 
But basically, what you're doing is you're like, I'm free. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Not gonna lie. What else is here? This is a... Oh, let's open it. Let's see. Oh. Oh. This is, I think this is a mask. Let me try. Let me try and wear this. Damn. I feel tactical. That's cool. That's cool. So so the, the, the dust from the pollution doesn't get into our lungs. That's kind of nice. All right. And then we got Horizon's album. Sick. Sick. The actual Horizons. Put in the mask on again. Here. I'm in the mask. And with the BMI remover. And we got something more here. This looks like... Looks like a like a meal pack. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of stuff that I do not know what this is. Okay. Sausage crumbles. Spicy tomato sauce. Wow. This is like... This is like what they get in the army. That's... That's pretty sick. That's crazy. I've never actually seen one of these before. That's cool. How do I eat it? I have to consult with the with the military man. Oh, we got some pop tarts, bro. Fun fact: I've never, ever in my life actually eaten a pop tart, so this is a new for me. Grape jelly. Cool, cool. Another grape jelly. Two grape jellies. That's what I love to see. Ooh, what is this? A ration heater. Okay, interesting. That's so that's a, like a heater pack. To heat your food up in the field. Cool. Cool. It actually has instruction on how to use it, so. And then finally we got breadsticks. Sick. That's where we put our jelly uh, grape jelly. There you go. And then this. Tootsie roll. That's what we got in our this uh, started package to prepare for the apocalypse. Or rather surviving the apocalypse. So um, yeah, it's time to Time to get uh, free, get freedom and become a rebel. How do I eat this? Can I just open and eat it? I don't get it. Americans in the chat, please tell me, what do I do with this? This is the first time an Eastern European man is wielding one of these. You just open it and eat it? Okay. Okay. Whoever put together that PowerPoint did a terrible job. Bro, I did that. I did that PowerPoint, okay? Thank you for the to the Rebels for this amazing care package and this Pop-Tart that I'm now eating, which is incredible. You know, me, an Eastern European man, I've never had a Pop-Tart. I've been living in Canada for six years. I've never had a Pop-Tart. And just like that, Bogdan is now a rebel who will fight against New West Industries, all thanks to a Pop-Tart inside his rebel initiation kit.